the tech from CDI came and said, you know, the radiologist found a couple things, which then, of course, sparks a lot of anxiety and, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. What is it? Obviously, when you're told that you need a breast biopsy, your life kind of stops for a few days until you can get that result. And so we feel a lot of responsibility. Dr. Regner. To get a woman in as soon as possible for her biopsy. I'm gonna numb your skin first. We give numbing medication. It's local numbing medication. It is an injection. So it is a shot in the skin and deeper into the breast to anesthetize all around the area. It is a little bit uncomfortable as it's administered because it is an injection, but it works very rapidly. I'm gonna make a tiny little nick in your skin. We try to really talk them through the procedure, explain everything in depth. When I take the samples, you're gonna hear a clicking noise. Really try to hold their hand through the whole process, and then we try to get the results as soon as possible. The other important thing to know is that we recommend breast biopsies a lot on things that ultimately turn out to be benign. How are you feeling? Good. So only one out of every four biopsies comes back as cancer. When you're told that you need a breast biopsy, the odds are still pretty good that it's not breast cancer. Ultrasound at the two o'clock position. I will say the radiologists were amazing from CDI. They were on the phone with me and in person and right when results were available, I got that information right away. 